President Poroshenko decided that I'm his most dangerous opponent. Otherwise, it's hard to explain what the set of measures he applied against. First, more than a year ago, they registered our party on another people's, another person's name, and we had hard time, hard juridical battle. We are still in that battle to get full registration of our party back from that people. Second, they deprived me of my nationality in violation of international law because international law forbids expressly, and Ukraine law the same, to deprive a person of nationality that doesn't have any other nationality. I didn't have any other nationality, so depriving me of nationality was clear violation of international law. But as a permanent resident of Ukraine, and because I don't have residence anywhere else, I want, went back and it was perfectly legal for per permanent residents of Ukraine to go back. They enacted all kinds of obstacles against me. When I entered Ukraine, they started a criminal case against me on charges of coup d'etat and getting illegal financing from abroad. And then to the yesterday, group of armed people I think around 40 of them entered a cafe where I was having tea with my friends, seized me with brutal force, put me into a minivan, drove me for 40-45 minutes or very fast to a helicopter. The helicopter circled above Kiev for another 40-45 minutes. On the way they were very, they used brutal force. They managed to shoot me all the time. They almost strangled me with, from all sides. And then they, uh, basically, then they put me on the plane and they, you, you, know, you know the rest. Now, having said that, uh, it was totally legal because Polish side had clearly indicated to them that if ever I come back to Poland, there should be my re express, expressly expressed consent that I want to go back to Poland. And then Poles were willing to take me, of course. Of course, I never gave this consent. And even more, I have status of permanent resident of Ukraine, and I am entitled to be in Ukraine, and I even had a paper entitling me that needs to be extended every three months until March that I was entitled to be in Ukraine. The reason why they did it, because they are afraid that on 18 we have a big popular march against corruption in Kiev, and it will be joined by all kinds of different politicians, but it was initiated by us. <coughs> Whatever Poroshenko does, I am an Ukrainian politician. Of course, I'm also, also Georgian, but I am an Ukrainian, active Ukrainian politician. I will stay as an Ukrainian politician, and I will fight till the end against corruption and corrupt oligarchy in Ukraine, as well as in Georgia. This is my express, this is my clear goal. I will do it from the time being from here, from Europe, because I'm free to move here. In Ukraine, I was all the time harassed by police with illegal search, with arrests, with surveillance, with open surveillance. With They terrorized all our, uh, main, lots of our activists. <coughs> but that will not stop us. Now we have mobilization in many places in Ukraine. There are protest rallies next to state administrations in at least half of the regions of Ukraine right now, after what they did yesterday. On the 18th, we have big mobilization in Kiev. And I'll find a way to get back. When we have, we'll have one million people in the streets of Kiev, with, within a very short foreseeable future, and then they'll have to live power peacefully. This corrupt elite that is plundering and killing Ukraine cannot stay in power. They are killing any prospect of Ukraine. They will lead to the disintegration of Ukraine. They will lead to balkanization of Ukraine. They will lead to mass scale violence in Ukraine. We need to do our best to avoid it. And the West has to realize that status quo in Ukraine is not realizable. <coughs> it's gonna cost more Ukrainian lives and it's gonna cost even the breakup of Ukraine and this is nightmare scenario which we will, should never ever allow. So, I believe in bright future of Ukraine. Ukraine will be a superpower of Europe. Ukraine will be as successful as Poland is. But for that, we need to change the corrupt post-Soviet elite that's killing them, using more and more methods that look like methods 
o Vladimir Putin. 